Hi guys, happy 2020 for me and Frankie boy. Hi, you look so unamused. Hi, sweetie. I haven't vlogged in a very long time. I haven't made any kind of video in a minute. Frankie and I are having a little date day. It is already almost 11. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, let's go, mom. I did my boxing this morning. I had breakfast with two of my friends. I have a cleaner coming today. I've never hired cleaners, and I feel like it's something that I'm always annoyed that I have to waste like hours and hours of my day, and then it makes me not wanna do my little errands, and just like the bullshit life things we have to get done, like going to the dry cleaners. Haven't done that in I don't know if I've ever gone to the dry cleaners and I have so many things that need to go. Errands are on, I have things to return. Taking this little man for a hike first. Frankie, you wanna go for a hike? Oh yeah, you do. You want your window down? You ready to do this little man? Let's do the dang thing. All right, let's go. Frankie. Good boy, you're having fun. <laughs> Good boy. Can you hold my oh. ring as well? <laughs> the preparation. Do you want to take your necklace off? <laughs> your shoes, they might weigh you down. Jump! Yep. That was so close. Where's your friend? <laughs> she quit. <laughs> How you feeling, girly? You okay? <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> How you doing? You ready for a car wash? I'm so afraid he's gonna freak out. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Calm down. I'm so afraid he's gonna just like try to crash through my car window. Whoa, Frankie. Where is it? Look. Is it pretty? <gasps> oh my god, he is licking the windows. Good thing I didn't clean the inside yet. It's okay, baby. You're okay? He does not know what to make of this, but he doesn't hate it. I really thought he was gonna be freaking out the entire time. You're killing it, bud, you love it. How do we feel about the clean house, Frankie? Yeah? Feeling good? You like it? Okay, I am starving. It is so late and I haven't eaten lunch yet. It's already like two o'clock, but like I mentioned, I had to be out of the house while the cleaner was here, so I didn't get to eat. So I'm gonna do that now. And this is not spawn. This is about to sound very, very sponsored, but I assure you, it is not. I order meals from Thistle. I worked with them like three years ago. I purchased these. They're not paying me to say this again. Not spawn. But basically, they send these packaged meals. You order what you want, you can get breakfast, lunch, dinner. You can do just lunch and dinner. You pick how many days you do. I do four days. I actually just cut it down to three because I was wasting some by eating out and not being home and stuff. And I do lunch and dinner and I just changed it to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Lunch is like a salad, it's so easy. They normally have like a dressing and sometimes nuts in it so they don't get dried out. Just shake it up takes me five seconds, which is great because I hate wasting time to cook in the middle of the day. And then dinner is equally as easy. I'm cooking tonight, so I'm not gonna show you that. But typically for dinner, it's like a stir fry or something. You throw in a skillet, or I think you can eat them cold, but it's better warm. There's normally a sauce you put over it. And it takes like three, four minutes to heat up, and you eat it. It's really easy, so if you're trying to be healthy and you're not a good cook or you're like lazy about cooking like me, I think it's a great thing to check out. I'm gonna eat now because I'm starving and I'm making something really fun for dinner, which I'll probably do shortly. Oh my god, it's not two, it's almost three. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna make dinner in like two hours, so see you then. And I know you're all gonna ask, and again, not spawn. My whole outfit is from Fabletics. See if I can like stand back and show you. Even my shoes. I saw that they had shoes on Fabletics and I was like, these are 
these are gonna suck. There's no way I'm gonna like these. And I have been loving them. I love like lightweight, easy shoes. And then my little crop top thing, also Fabletics. I have a sports bra underneath it that has this like fun little mesh detail on the back, also Fabletics. And my favorite leggings of all time is also Fabletics. They're great. The post guy's coming, I don't want him to see me filming. Okay, we back. Ugh, I hate when people see me filming. And I have these freaking big ass windows over here that everyone just sees right in during the day. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go eat. Actually, I have a ramble while I eat. We're gonna do that. Let's, let's ramble. You guys wanna ramble? Probably not. You're all shaking your head. You're like, no, I'm gonna skip three minutes ahead. But guess what? I'm gonna ramble. Let's do it. I posted this picture on my Instagram this morning and there were <laughs> so many comments about my weight. I have like a few points to touch on this and like different realms of commenting on weight. First of all, I think a great rule of thumb is to just never comment on someone's weight unless they're posting like a, I'm so proud of myself, I've been working so hard, or like they are drawing attention to their weight and trying to discuss it. If it's just a picture, it has nothing to do with their weight, you don't need to talk about it. If somebody is having an issue with an eating disorder and you tell them, oh my God, you look so skinny, you look amazing, and they're not losing it in a healthy way, that is so detrimental to their health. I've been really, really happy about my fitness journey so far and I wanna do more and keep changing my body. And it's the first time in my life I'm doing it in a very healthy way. Probably the healthiest I've ever been in my life and I'm really excited about it. I'm really proud of myself and it took a lot and I don't have issues with eating disorders anymore, but I definitely have and yeah. It's just don't say that to people. Don't say it. I've absolutely caught myself saying that to like friends or people I kind of know and see them in person and be like, oh my God, you look great. And then they're like, oh, thanks. I'm like, God, why did I say that? Because them looking great might be because they're being unhealthy. Like just, and also just because someone lost weight doesn't mean that they look any better. I think it's just kind of a default thing to say because we assume that they're trying and like doing it in a healthy way, especially if you don't struggle with eating disorder. So just be careful. So nice comments, so sweet, but just be aware of how even those nice comments could have a negative impact. And then there's um, the assholes out there that are, it's just obvious, don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. I think in TikToks now, I'm, I was gonna say I'm not ashamed to admit it, but I'm, I'm pretty embarrassed. I, I'm not embarrassed. I fucking watch TikToks all day long. Anyways, yeah, don't be a dick. Easy rule of thumb, super easy rule of thumb. Commenting and being like, no offense, or I don't mean to be rude, or but if you have to preface it, you're being an asshole. But if you're saying like, oh, please don't lose any more weight, fuck off. Like, yes, I am skinnier than I was. One, I don't give a shit if you think I looked better then or better now, because I feel good and I feel great and I feel healthy. But just because I lost weight, why are you assuming that it's in an unhealthy way? Especially when I'm always posting that I'm like working out and doing good and trying to get in a great place mentally and physically and like have this nice, well-balanced lifestyle. Why say that? Don't tell me to not lose any more weight. I will lose and gain whatever the fuck I want to. And if I am losing weight in an unhealthy way, if I'm having issues with an eating disorder, you acknowledging the weight loss can also throw somebody off and have a negative impact. I know, I'm rambling at this point, we all knew it was gonna happen. My point, do not comment on someone's weight. It's easy, it's simple. I know you might be trying to be nice. I know you might be trying to be helpful. I know you might think you're funny or you're just being a big old D-bag. Just stop doing it, it's not good, it's not helpful. Um, if you don't know them personally and you don't know their journey and what they're doing, don't do it. Sorry, but if I'm having an issue with not being healthy and that's why I'm losing weight, don't you think my friends and family would be the ones to talk to me? Not some random stranger on the internet who I don't know, who's just like, you're just being a dick. Okay, um, I didn't eat at all while I rambled because I don't know how to multitask. I love you guys, I'll see you later. I love my dog so much. I love you so much that Mr. Frankie here does not have one bed in the laundry room. Is that your bed? Go to your bed, go to your bed. Show him your bed. 
Good boy. Do you love your bed? Okay, let's show me your next one. Come on. Come on. This one. Show me your bed. On your bed. On your bed, Frank. Good boy. Yeah, you like that one? That's number two. And now, I just got in the mail. Let's go. He hasn't even sat on it yet. Go on your bed. <laughs> and now we have three beds. Um, I got a 4XL. I don't know if it's big enough for him. I'm worried. Is this cushiony enough for you? Is that comfy? Oh, that fits you okay. Oh, you look so cute, Frankie. Good boy. Hi, good boy. Oh my gosh, do you like your new bed? Do you like your new bed, handsome? You look so cute. Oh my god, you look like you're on a little cloud. Before you get it all stinky, let me lay with you. Let me lay with you. Oh, you like it, huh? I've been letting Frank sleep in my room a lot, but his other bed is so his other bed is so gross. It doesn't really look cute in here. And this just came in the mail today, and I was like, perfect. Put that in the bedroom because it looks really cute, right? So that's what a 28-year-old dog mom gets excited over. A new bed for her pup. <laughs> so I was going to film making my dinner, but I ended up making a TikTok of it instead, which is so stupid, I'm well aware. But it was fun, so I don't care. Um, I'm gonna briefly show you guys what I did. I made spring rolls. One issue is I got the six inch ones and you're supposed to get the bigger ones. These are so tiny and it's really hard to roll. Can't put a lot of stuffing in them. I've already eaten a few. This is what they look like when you're all done. This is the sauce you can dip them in. It's just liquid aminos, warm water, peanut butter, some garlic, and then you can do any stuffing you want. So I have like a slaw, I have cucumber, carrots, spinach, avocado, onion, red pepper, and beets. I would love to have tofu or something in it, but I just didn't have any, so I was working with what I got, and this is what I got. Um, they're so freaking good though. Highly recommend. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna go eat. Good <laughs> boy. <laughs> I'm giving Frank a bath, but he did not want to get in my tub, which I thought would be easier. But he opted for the shower. I opened the door and he went in, so I was like, all right, let's do it.